All right, so these rails are done and installed. <clears throat> and these are different from the original two-piece design that you have to either figure out how to join or glue. Um, and so what I added, you can see right here. Um, I had another design where I was actually going to put something right here. Because this is where it's, you know, going to flex. Uh, but maybe I'll add one there and there. I I just uh, I like to give it a little bit more in case it falls. Um, and you drop it. And then so here we've got these. So you can tie onto these. You can tie onto these. You can tie onto these and these. And here. So the original design was you printed the two pieces and you could tie over here and there and there and you'd use like velcro strapping or something so um these ones here are okay and that's what i had on the radio for a while um i never actually like dropped it or anything but what i was trying to do was print up some better rails that would allow me to more easily connect my tuner and a battery to this thing. And so, the speaker is right here, so we don't want to block it. We also need to make sure that we're not blocking any of the accessory plugs here, like the headphone plug and whatnot. So, Anything back here is pretty much fair game. We could put more of these in here or whatever we want to do. Um, and there's nothing wrong with the original design. I just, you know, wanted something different. So, I just modified it. It's not like, it's not the same as the one I tried to do from basically scratch. Using only their marker holes, which I screwed up. Um... So, ideally, we would have something like this, and we can just use, like, this bungee cord and just tie it down, and it isn't going to go anywhere. Um, I think that's probably the easiest way to do this. Um, I can get more complicated, but I think this is probably the easiest way. And then uh, a battery pack underneath... There's actually no reason that we can't have a battery pack the size of this tuner that will run this radio. But it's just getting that form factor that's really kind of the issue. So, anyway, so I just wanted to show the new rails that were installed. And obviously, the, if you watch the other video, you know my prototype rails didn't work out. So, we're, we're back to scratch for that. I'm just feeling really under the weather today and... Uh, stomach's just not feeling good, and I'm like, uh, I think I've been sick probably, uh, I don't know, at least five or six days now, I think, so, um, I'm just trying to get some stuff done, and, uh, just don't feel real good. So anyway, these are the modified rails. You can find the, um, file on... Uh, Thingiverse, you should be able to find it on Thingiverse. Better Yesu FT891 rails. Okay, and you can print this diagonally on your Ender 3. Um, as far as I remember, I gave you all the files. This one is another prototype I haven't printed yet, but it's exactly this one with these other pieces right in between here just to add for looks okay here's here's the one I just showed you right here these ones okay so everything fits everything clears it's perfect this is another one that you can try where I put a bar in between and the bar will sit back here to this piece here and um, they should be kind of cool um, and that allows you to have an additional horizontal surface to strap something in and out of. 
to like maybe kind of like lock it like a buckle because you can go through here under there then through here then you pull it tight like a seat belt so um hopefully that that would be an advantage so if you print one of these let me know um this is their uh generated image of my file okay so and then they just print two of them and they're exactly dimensionally balanced so you don't have to do like a mirror image or anything but they're also on uh if you search no name you'll find i have other ones on here they're going to be the same ones. Um, let's see here. Yeah, they're just the same ones. Just for redundancy to help get them out there in case, you know, other sites down or something like that. So, um, looks like somebody's downloaded one already. Yeah, one of all of them have been downloaded. That's cool. Awesome. So, I just want to make some cool stuff that works for me and share it with you guys and, you know, come up with other ideas. You know, I'll do my best to try and make some changes to it. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough learning curve. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching.